I was thinking of some direct line that I like. But uh, I couldn't think of a direct line I like. Because I like the old Drake. The Drake before Thank Me Later CD came out. New Drake, which is Thank Me Later and whatever else came out there, I don't like. Because he's not the same. He's putting out soft music and, you know, Nicki Minaj got a whip. He got a, she got a whip. I didn't even call her the he. I don't know what she was doing, but whatever. Nicki Minaj got a great whip, and that's why he's putting out all this soft ass music and, you know, his album isn't doing as good as it could be. You know, Drake came out with that male view on love and this real shit, you know, songs like Say What's Real, The Calm, you know, songs like Deceiving, you know, Come Winner, you know, all this shit, Congratulations, you know, all this shit, and the lyrics has a metaphor that is just, like fucking crazy, and it didn't sound like some Lil Wayne shit with the hashtag flow and whatever, but you know, that's the drink we got right now. Regardless of whether I like him, whether you like him, whether your boyfriend or your girlfriend like him, whatever. He's at a point in his career where, you know, he thinks he's the best. And every major rapper, I guarantee you, every major rapper, does not stay humble as fuck and say that they're not the greatest rapper alive. They may say some bullshit like, you know, I got a lot of improve on whatever, whatever, my flows is, blah, 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 that. But, you know, right now, I'm the hottest. Which basically means I'm the greatest rapper right now. Bottom line. You break it down, that's all it fucking means. You know, and other people, but, oh, he's the greatest rapper alive, the greatest rapper alive, blah, blah, blah. And a lot of people are saying this about Drake, because Drake coming out with all this shit that women like. And the world is what? Over, the world, women overpopulate men like three to one? Come on, it's more women than anything. So, of course, this shit is going to settle. Because it's fucking pills of the women. But the men? We're like, what the fuck are we shit? Stuff with a pissy ass boy and everyone, like, oh, the bitches love it. Well, I'm gonna love it too. Which is that dumb shit. You know? No slang having ass niggas. But, um, I was making this video because I wanted to know why are all these old rappers, you know, taking shots at Drake? This dude from Wu Tang Clan took a shot at Drake. He didn't take a small shot, he took three shots at this nigga. He said, he posted a picture of Drake and Nicki Minaj, okay, and was like, dude, softer than lamb chops, or something like that. Put another, he posted something else, he just did Drake like three times or whatever. Some dude from Wu Tang Clan. I think it was Ghostface Killer. Alright, most recently though, Ludacris just Drake. And I was surprised because, you know, Luda's been in the game for a long time. He's still kind of hot, you know what I'm saying? Still coming out the hot songs or whatever with the catchy flows and whatever. Meaningful shit with the Mary J. Blige and whatever. Whatever, whatever. You know, he's cool. He's cool. So, you know, I guess whatever Big Sean and Drake said something about Luda flow with the hashtags or whatever from My Chick Bad. I mean, Luda made a whole song on this him. Like, my nigga, you got businesses, businesses, in Atlanta, you know, you got restaurants there, selling food from around the world, you know, all kinds of shit, you, you, so far into the game, you don't even have to rap anymore, you've made it, you're living the life that everybody wants to live, why are you dissing people who are hot in the game right now, when you was the same way, the same way, dog, so I don't understand. And, you know, this very special girl, Bianca, she's defending Common, who just did Drake. Because Drake was seen with his ex, Selena something. I'm not, I don't want to say go, man, because I don't want to be mistaken. And that's the little Justin Bieber bitch. His whatever. I don't want to be mistaken. So it's Selena something. And Common felt some kind of way about it, I guess, and threw some shots at Drake. Like, it's Common. For those of you who don't know Tommy, he's supposed to be this real meaningful rapper who raps about great things, life, and world peace, and love, and he's just so great. The women love him. He looks great. He played in the movie Smoking Aces. He was a dude who got the car flicked at his eye. He started laughing at dude. He was carrying Alicia Keys. Come. Alright. So, that means that he's a OG. 
big player, whatever, in the rap game or whatnot, or hip hop or whatever. And how do I put this? He did Drake over his ex Z with Drake. You know, he didn't walk in on Drake fucking his girl. He didn't walk in with Drake kissing on her at a party. You know, he didn't catch Drake texting his girl or looking at his girl stuff. None of that. He just dissed him because he heard about Drake kicking in with his ex girlfriend. Ex girlfriend. Like, I expect more from him. A lot. From Luda and from Thomas. So I just expect more from him. And, you know, my point, my big, my biggest point is they've both been in a time in their career where they thought they were, you know, the greatest rapper or the best lyricist, best rapper to write on beats or whatever, most catchy flows, whatever. They all been there, and now it's like all these old rappers are still trying to rap or whatever. They take a shot at Drake, and I don't understand why. You know, y'all probably bigger than that. Y'all made it, and you know, he's just hot right now. Y'all still, like, people still listen to y'all. Like, y'all got hardcore fans all around the world and shit like that. So I expect more from y'all. I expect this shit from some, like, some dudes trying to come up. Like, Drake just made it. I'm going to try and make it by going on Drake's name. Like, I expect that from some no name rapper, I think. But at the end of the day, it's Jet Life into the next life. Peace, you too.